The sacrament of matrimony is the sacrament in which one man and one woman establish a partnership between themselves and which is free, full, faithful, and fruitful. Now to fully understand and become compatible with your spouse, you must figure out their love language. The first love language is acts of service. This is helping your loved one with his or her responsibilities while expecting nothing in return. This is putting your loved one first, before you, and showing them how much you value them. Next is, reco is receiving gifts. This is not to be confused with materialism. These gifts are heartfelt symbols of love and affection. Words of affirmation are very reassuring to a loved one. These encouraging words build up the loved one. Physical touches, which are appropriate and timely, communicate warmth, safety, and love to a person. This helps the loved one not feel so neglected. And lastly, there is quality time. This is giving someone's full under your, un, your full undivided attention without any distractions. Uninterrupted time together can help deepen the love connection. Knowing the love language of your spouse can help you better understand them and learn how to act around them. This helps the couple grow closer together. Now, the matter of the sacrament of matrimony is a man and a woman. The form is the exchanging of the vows. And the minister of the sacrament is the couple themselves. Marriage can be found a lot in the Bible. In fact, Jesus' first miracle took place at a wedding. In Genesis chapter 2, verse 24, it says, For this reason a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and they will become one flesh. This, of course, is referencing marriage. Now, planning a marriage is more than just planning at the big party and the ceremony that comes with it. It's important to remember that a wedding lasts a day, but a marriage lasts a lifetime. To prepare for marriage, couples may have sponsored couples or go to marriage, couple, marriage classes offered by their parish.